Okay, so what is this one model of fractions that I like so much that will lead us to the five key principles that makes everything about fractions work? Well, it's based on the following idea. I'm going to say that a fraction is an answer to a division problem. Now, there are a couple of ways to think about division, and I'm going to think of it specifically as sharing. So I'm going to say a fraction is an answer to a sharing problem. And what am I going to share? Well, to link it to our previous models we learned in the early grades, I might as well share pies. Everyone shares pies, so I'll do that too. So for example, suppose I have six pies. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'd like to share them equally among three students. Let me draw three students. One student, second student, third student. Lobby students. Six pies to be shared equally among three students. How much pie per student would that be? What would one individual student receive? Well, you can see in your mind's eye, two pies, two pies, two pies per student. That is two pies per student. Now, most people write this as a division problem. Six divided by three will give two pies per student. But I'm saying a fraction is an answer to a division problem. So I'm actually going to say this is a fraction. So I'm going to use fraction notation for it. Six pies for three students is the answer two pies per student. So the top line here is the number of pies, the number of pies. The bottom line is the number of students, number of students, and I see it results in two pies is the two is the amount of pie per student. Per whoops, amount of pie, yes, per student. Great. So a fraction is an answer to a division problem, and in this model, sharing pies equally among students. Number of pies per number of students gives a certain amount of pie per student. Grand. Now, I don't think I need to draw the picture for this one, but I can bet you can see in your mind's eye, if I change the numbers to, say, 20 pies to be shared equally among five students, that would yield four pies per student. Or 100 pies shared equally among two students would yield 50 pies per student. Bingo! That's all a fraction is. Now, you might think this looks a little strange because this don't look kind of fractional, but what do you do this one? Let's link this up to what we are doing earlier on. Let's look at one pie for two students. I'll draw the picture of this one. One pie to be shared equally among two students. Here's one pie. Here are two students. One, two. How much pie per individual student is that? But what would you do if I really had to share one pie equally among two students? We'd actually do the di divide the pie into two equal parts and give one student what we called last time a half. So actually, this, uh, the answer to this division problem really is a half, consistent with what we are doing earlier on. So this model is capturing the whole dividing up pies model we were having previously. And same way, if I did one pie for three students, so let's now make it one pie for three students. Let me draw three students. Oops. And now just one pie. How much pie per individual student is that? Well, what do you do if I really had to share one pie equally amongst three students? I'd divide into three equal parts. And this student here would get one of those parts. And we call that a third earlier on. And this model is doing exactly the same thing. And we're even drawing the same pictures as before. But I like the shift of mindset. Now think of a fraction as an answer to a sharing problem in particular. In fact, this really does connect with that previous model in the following way. Let's now make this not one third. Let's actually do two pies for three students. So here's two pies for three students. Now think about it. If you really had to literally divide two pies equally among three students, you might think to do the following. You might say, well, I might as well divide that one into three equal parts, and divide that one into three equal parts, and give each student one of these parts, maybe this one up here, and one of these parts, maybe this one down here. And bingo, I have two copies of one third. Uh, this is really two copies of one third. That is two copies of a third. Just as we were saying before, two-thirds is really two copies of one-third. So this model really is encapsulating the previous models as well, but it takes us much further than those previous models do.